Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will paint this beautiful body with good coat of primer. We will use a stylized primer, it's acrylic primer, it's a safe one, but also wear a gloves and a protectors, mask, and also they have a wonderful extractor fan that they throw the paint out, it's a very important. Also we use a Greg's, wonderful Greg's, my unique gun that I love to work with him. We clean it and he's ready for a painted. A very good one, highly recommend, 0.5 TG. Uh, very handy, I love to work, you will see me spray it. I change the angle of the camera, the better view that you see what I'm doing. But before that I want to uh, give you some tips for the painting. Always start uh, with the body, with the mist coat of a primer, any paint, even if it's not primer, uh, with mist coat that only see the, if you have uh, some uh, defects on the car so that you can fix it before you continue. Uh, also, I all the time paint the part uh, of the car, of the body with primer and then move forward to the other part of the car. It's up to you, you can paint everything, you can paint only the part of uh, the, the, exter the external part of the car. But uh, I think no need to talk too much, yes? Because uh, you love to see me walking, not talking. Um, uh, so uh, that's it, enough for the joke. Uh, I'm ready, everything ready. I will just show you what I'm using. Wait a minute. A good mask by Dragon. Very good mask, I love to work with them, very handy, very comfortable, you can stay with forever. No, uh, you will uh, uh, not feel it. So, highly recommend. I use it. I use uh, uh, some uh, uh, black gloves. But, uh, when I paint it, I don't want uh, some paint off my hand, so I use uh, gloves. And uh, I sh already show you the uh, airbrush. I show you the primer that I use. Stylized. Very good primer. Uh, I use it a lot. Painted, uh, I think, 20 models. It's a uh, high capability. And, uh, it will uh, disappear the scratch from the model. And it's very important. Also, uh, I all the time uh, try to win the dust, and uh, so I clean the room before, and I clean, I clean all the uh, parts from the dust and the area. I have this wonderful tool by Opler. Very good one, I can show you what I'm doing with this, a little bit noise for you. Easy. After that I use a, a anti-static brush. The dust don't won't come inside this one. It's a wonderful, wonderful body. That's it, we are ready, more or less. I have one more trick for you guys. The area that you need to paint. Spray. You can use it. Spray all over the place, that the area that work, the dust fall down. And you have a clean area without the dust, and you will spray directly. You will see nothing on the models. Even if you have something on the models, you can send it a little bit and continue on. That's it, uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, the time that I explain what I do before the painting. Now, they have a lot of noise here because the compressor and the extractor fans, so I don't know if I can talk. Also, I have a, wear a mask, but I will ready everything with a point of view and for you, and you see my hand working, it's better than talking. So, bye bye, and uh, continue watching this wonderful video, and uh, I hope you uh, understand what I'm uh, talking. So, bye bye, bye bye. Bye -bye. Okay guys, we come back and now we can start to uh, paint this, uh, this body with the primer. I already shake it a little bit. Yes, like I love. I love to shake paint. Uh, it will be nosy here because the compressor and the extractor. So I will not talk, just see my head walking. And, uh, that's it for now. Very good 
perfecto. Ok. Primer fighter. Primer pasquín. Aquí que no quede. Go. See, so no more talking, mask on my face, sorry guys, but see my book. Okay guys, so now we can talk about this, you see what uh, I'm doing with the primer, everything okay, uh, fully cure, we can uh, continue to uh, wet sanding, it uh, look wonderful, uh, if you have uh, some question about my painting, uh, you can uh, send me and I try to uh, answer you, but more or less uh, all the models that you paint, it's the uh, same like that, I will uh, uh, see the parts on the table and then uh, we will start to uh, do some wet sanding a small wet sanding only too much because it's just the primer and uh, some people uh, don't do it at all but I have some uh, some area that I have dust so I need to uh, wet sanding them and uh, flat down all the area and, and then on the next video you will see the uh, base coat paint it's a different uh, part of uh, the uh, video with new video I show you how I painted I hope it will be not not be long but now let's change the angle of the camera and you will see how I wet send in the parts and uh, after that uh, that's it will be all this video uh, so watch it okay guys the last uh, part of this video will be of uh, on the wet sending after the primer uh, fully cure uh, we can a uh, little bit wet sanding the primer and uh, see if we see any uh, dust or some hairs that stick in the model when we paint it and uh, that's it I will do it with you with the body and uh, all the rest of the part uh, I will do alone but it's the same process what I'm uh, using for uh, wet sanding it's a uh, 3000 sponge it's a uh, very uh, delicate little bit water I put it in the water start even little bit touch it that's it no need more just get rid of all the dust in some area you see my hand walking you remember it's better than talking no need too much because you uh, uh, see the the plastic and you don't want to see the plastic because after that we need to paint it again just a little bit for uh, remove all the dust do it slowly take little bit water and smooth the area 
it will be magnificent when you will uh, paint with the base coat it will be wonderful to see it how everything is smooth and you will know if, uh, some area that you have a dust even if I spray a water that you remember that I spray and clean all the area some area they still have a dust so I try to focus on that area and see if everything looks okay sometimes you will see the, uh, the edge pop up the, the paint uh, the plastic don't worry it, uh, it, it's okay you don't need to paint it again just small touches that's what I'm doing and that's it okay you see what I'm doing little bit I will do it all the rest part all the rest of the part the doors the wood and we will come back after I wash this uh, kit we'll come back and uh, we will paint it in base uh, coat this is the paint with that we use uh, Bridget uh, red similar to Tamiya TS49 this will be awesome on this car be uh, Bridget Red and that's uh, what I like to see on this car so the next video base coat I hope it not be long same process on the same part it's okay we do it uh, softly gently and uh, that's all for now so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much guys uh, all the subscribers that come that new the newbies uh, so I'm very enjoyed to do it for you guys. Uh, I hope we will finish it soon. But uh, after all the video will upload, uh, you will see the process and you will say, "Wow, we start with zero, and now we have the great model by Rosso Model." And uh, if I can do it, so you can do it. Just buy the right materials and the right tool, and uh, you will build an awesome model with me. Again questions anything for you thank you very much have a good day and uh, we will see you bye bye